in this in this video I'm just going to do a little bit of a menu exploration just to show you what's in the menu what options it has and um, just how a uh, few things work so anyway let's just jump right in so obviously the power button is what it is this is the backlight button it turns this button on uh, turns the backlight to the board on or off which is really good if you're playing on batteries so you turn that off a hint does exactly what it says i'm not even going to hit it it gives you a hint in a certain position the info gives you like information in terms of like the apply depth and um search depth and things like that uh new hits a uh, um, starts a new game, sorry. The clear button clears out a selection you've made. Uh, the menu pulls up the menu, which we will explore in a minute. The, the green button is the enter button, and the right and left keys are how you scroll right and left in the menu. And the help button gives you help in certain situations. Like right now, if you was to hit help, it would just tell you press the piece, the square you want to move from, and then press the square where you want to move to, for example. And um, so anyway, let's just clear that out. So all right, let's jump right into the menu. Now this is, again, the buttons are sim kind of self-explanatory. So let's just jump right into the menu, see what we have. All right, so the first thing in the menu is level. You can go uh, scroll to the left, uh, sorry, hit enter. And, and I've just been playing it on fun one just to see how the fun levels work. And, um, for fun they work i will say if you're going to play in the fun levels you probably want to like unload the book because it will play the book and the book is very strong if you just want to play for fun or let your grandkids or your kids or something like that play so you scroll through i just i'm gonna speed through this kind of fast so you can see the options moves in seconds if you wanted to go that route um you can do the game time like in how many minutes they got several options and then they also have um some tournament settings typical like fee day tournament stuff so anyway we can back out of here hit, hit clear oh one other thing is they have this made in x function like made in so many moves so but i'm not going to jump into that today when i do the position setup video i'm going to uh, explore this made in whatever many moves there is option all right so let's go back Let's go to, you want to invert the board. For example, you want to put your white pieces on that side and the black pieces from over here on this side. You can do that. Let's hit clear to go back. Oh, sorry, hit clear. Okay, sorry, hit menu. Uh, clock, you can turn that on or off if you want. Like if you just want to play a freestyle game instead of picking like a certain, I guess, time that's already said analysis um i'm a, i'm not gonna really jump into the analysis um i believe i should have read this um that you can like analyze moves instead of actually like uh obviously you can analyze your game as you're playing but I'm talking about just say if you just want to use this board to play over a game and just analyze it we'll, we'll explore that option in a future video um, options now this is a good one here let's hit enter and go in here you can go to language pick whatever language you want this is the book you can pick zero means no book book one is the london book the london book is the book that uh, millennium um, chess genius used when it um, had a match with Kas kaspar back in 1994 and book two is like this modern book made by i don't know how to pronounce his last name but the guy who authored um the hierox engine so we can skip back let's go back options okay setup you can do position setup and um let's see here options okay here we go go back to options language book sound you can turn the sound up or down to get you three options for the sound like a middle sound low sound high sound and all uh you can have a tutor on so it lets you know you make a bad move or not which is um which could be useful for some people uh, and this right here is the ECO, like saying, I think it stands for engine continuously operating. So basically, when it's your move, you can tell the computer to stop analyzing. And, but if you want a computer to analyze while it's on your move, you can set this option to on. And this would be also another good option if you're playing with just batteries, you can turn that off. And you can also turn off the backlight and save you some battery. 
And the contrast to the pieces is right now set on contrast four. I keep mine plugged in, so I'm gonna probably turn mine up a little bit just to explore that a little bit, but that's self-explanatory. And we're back to language. All right, so let's go back to, let's hold it, let's go clear. Let's go back to setup. Let's see, is there any more options here that I missed? No, no more options. Now, I just want to show you one thing about one of these buttons that you can only see in the midst of playing. So I'm gonna make a few moves just to give you an example. Okay, you see how I press the square I want to move from, press the square I want to move to. And when the engine makes a move, it says moving from um, E7 to E6, so I press E7, and then I move to E6. All right, my, my move now, if I move my knight out, I press the square I want to move to, press the square I want to, to land on. Wait a minute. Okay. Now, as you see, the computer now wants to go D7 and D5. So instead of um, pushing down on D7 and then taking this piece and taking it and pushing down on D5 and leaving it, you can just hit this red button because you see this flash in the move. To, to move that piece, if you just hit this red button, it just makes the move and you can just pull your piece up here. And that's very useful, so say when, it, you can only do that on a computer side, by the way, um, when, a compu when it's the computer's move. So it's very handy, like say the computer does an en passant or a castling, it's just a lot of pressing you have to do to actuate those moves versus just hitting this red button and then you just put the pieces on the um, respective squares they should be on. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, I'll be back again. Uh, next video, I'll explore some position setup, and then we'll go from there with it. But anyway, please like, subscribe, uh, share, and again, there'll be affiliate links in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.